Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill 2. This is Space here, and today we're going to be running the Wood Side Apartments. So far what we've done is we uh, walked into the Wood Side Apartments here after entering the gate, grabbed the map of the apartment building on the left hand side of the door, and then went right up to the second floor. We went into room 205 just now, and it took a flashlight from the mannequin. I'm going to check for some health drinks. They're usually located in the kitchen area. And now we're just going to exit the room. We're going to head down to the stairwell and head on up to the third floor. to room 301. Now we're going to run up to the shopping cart. There should be some handgun bullets. Or the handgun itself. And no health drinks. down to the second floor. What the hell was that? Now we just want to head north up here. Go to room 208, which would be the last one up here at the top. We're going to grab the uh, key to room 202 on the shelf here. And check out the corpse in the chair. We're going to head on over to 202. All right. 
right, and here we just want to not to check out the cages. Uh, let's go to the room right here. And there's going to be a hole in the wall in here. Let's just check that out. Investigate? Sure, why not? Behind hole number one, we get the clock key. All right, from here we just want to head back. Want to head back to room 208. Check for health drink. Hey, we got one this time. stairwell up that way, so let's go back. Yeah, and here we're going to go into this other room. We're going to find the clock, just walk right up to it. And here we want to use the clock key, open it up so we can essentially rotate the hands on the base plate. Set the hands here to nine ten. So we have ten past nine. All right, come to the side of it and then just push the clock. through the wall to room 209. Now here we just want to exit this room and then go up the stairwell all the way to the top. Third floor. Hey, another health drink. And I'm just gonna save my game here real quick. All weird feelings again. Yeah, we just want to go up the stairwell here to third floor. And up here we're looking for room 307, right there. I 
And let's go meet Pyramid Head for the first time. And before we leave the room, we just want to grab the courtyard key from this closet, and then we can exit. We'll check for a health drink first. Yeah, not shit. And we just want to head south down the hallways here. Fire escape key. Ah, oh, bastard. Just move down to the first floor through this east stairwell. And we're going to go run down this hallway and grab the canned juice all the way at the end. Now we need to go back up to the second floor and go drop the canned juice down that garbage chute that's right next to the stairwell. Yeah, not that way. Oh wait, not that way either. Shit. Okay, yeah, what we want to do here is go, uh, go down back to the first floor and go out through the front door here. We gotta run down the front side of the apartment complex. There we go.
Okay, now we want to go up the stairs on the west side here. And we're going to head up the second floor. And we will grab that health drink that I seemingly missed when I walked in here the first time. And now, as I said, we want to go put the canned juice we just picked up down that garbage chute over here. Damn it, what is up with this? Alright, we're gonna go back down the stairs all the way out, right next to where we came in in this entrance. And here we just want to pick up the old man coin. And once we regain control here, we're just going to go back in the door and go up to the second floor. Once we get up to the second floor, we're going to head west down the corridor all the way to the last door. And this is going to be the escape key uh, to go over to the Blue Creek Apartments. And this will, yeah, this will actually be the last part of this episode. Uh, so I hope that you uh, enjoyed, and thank you for watching. We'll see you in part three. Thanks, guys.